Medical school has always had a lot of competition, which has sometimes been healthy, but oftentimes can cause a lot of undue stress on students. Thus, the rivalry in medical school and residency has been getting negative criticism. After many complaints and after many years, the Medical Education Foundation has started to get rebranded by making the USMLE Step 1 turn to pass-fail. Although this was a bold move few expected, it was received with a lot of mixed reviews, which ultimately led to many people questioning, should medical school grades be abolished too? The line of reasoning contends that high levels of rivalry lead to greater pressure, which in turn leads to higher rates of burnout in medical students and residencies. Mental and emotional health, therefore, declines in these groups of students, leading to unhappy physicians and increasing suicide rates. Many highlight cancelling the mathematical score for USMLE Step 1 as a major positive development. They contend this ought to diminish the staggering pressure students face given its significance in the residency choice. Students are limited by their USMLE scores to what residency they can apply to, because most residencies utilize cutoffs without even looking at an applicant's application. Cutoffs could have prevented great doctors from pursuing their dreams, while allowing phenomenal test takers to be selected for a competitive specialty that might have led them to be unhappy with their choices. Just like getting a lower USMLE score prevented you from applying to competitive specialties, higher scorers were forced to apply to competitive specialties when they might have been happier as primary care physicians. Abolishing scores might have been a step in the right way. However, although these steps seem necessary and are made with the student body in mind, they also seem oddly short-sighted. Burnout is a real issue, yet it's not because of evaluations or USMLE scores, Students have been evaluated their entire lives with less pressure, but the majority of students are used to taking standardized tests to prove their understanding of topics. So what is the actual problem and how can we fix it? If it's not USMLE Step 1 or evaluations, then what is causing the high burnout and decline of mental health in students and residents? My version is simple. It's the inability to provide students and residents with sufficient holistic well-being and education. Medical schools look at the MCAT for admission, and residencies look at USMLE scores. This leads to too much emphasis on statistics instead of the future doctor or student doctor as a whole. Do we really need more specialized doctors, or do we need primary care doctors that can empathize with their patients? However, authorities in medical education and even medical students are pointing at USMLE Step 1, grades, and other downstream impacts and not perceiving the root issue. I strongly believe in abolishing grades, be it medical school grades or USMLE scores. However, that is not the issue. Abolishing these scores will only put a band-aid on a bullet hole. The entire medical education needs to be overhauled and changed. Students need to be more focused on their well-being, empathy, and patient care, instead of scores that will only help them in making a cutoff placed by medical educators themselves. Abolishing grades can help educators look at the student's clinical capabilities instead of only the book knowledge. On the other side, people believe that abolishing grades will cause more harm than good. By eliminating grades, how will medical schools guarantee that their students will have adequate ability to become capable doctors? How will residency programs select between applicants? Abolishing grades will just put more emphasis on the rank of school nepotism, and personal prejudice. Although we might not like grades being a deciding factor, you cannot deny that they are a way to hold everyone on an equal playing field, which will be lost if medical schools abolish grades without significant change in the medical education curriculum.